What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from my bedroom at Studio J. Wright, and I wanted to say hello and happy Friday. Uh, it is J. Wright Affirmation today, and my affirmation for this week is to say yes to every opportunity. So, let me elaborate on that a little bit. I, um, I thought about my success, and I hate to sound so egotistical, but thought about, like, my success and, and, um, things that have catapulted me to doing really cool things publicly. And a couple of years ago, I, I um, had done this this um, presentation at the Pulp Awards, and we did the best in nightlife. And it really sprung off my relationship with the Pueblo Pulp, which ultimately gave me my big break with Hot Mess, which became a sleeper hit. Like, people didn't see it coming. And then I moved Hot Mess recently, and um, people notice when it doesn't run. Which is, you know, my priority is to write the column and then I leave it up to the company to publish it. And that's that's what I do. I write and I and I do hair. So if I wouldn't have done the Pulp Awards, I don't know if I would have gotten as far as I did. Another event that I did was Dancing with the Pueblo Stars a couple, what, a, just a year ago or whatever. And they're doing the second installment and I had great reviews and that led to stuff with more events that I had done publicly. And... As I've gotten back into doing what I normally do, coming off of hiatus and, and taking on new projects and possible things to do, I've adopted the, the thing that, the philosophy that saying yes to every opportunity is filling a void that either I created or was created by a connection that didn't need to be there anymore in my life. And last night was funny because we went and I supported my cousin. His band made an appearance here in Pueblo and... Um, I was so happy to see him in his element because he was so dang good and all those kids were so good at what they did. They have a CD out. I bought the CD. I had a couple people go that know me very well. And then a lot of my friends that said they'd be there and they weren't there. But what I took out of that, thinking in mind for today's affirmation to say yes to every opportunity, this might be the opportunity for me to say, yes, I can go out by myself. And yes, I matter the most because when people have created that void by saying that they would be there and they weren't there. Maybe they're telling me that, yes, they can be a friend, but they can't be there for everything. So looking at it in a different light. But as far as me saying yes to every opportunity, I got offered um, a collaboration for a film, for a short film, and I think I'm going to do it. Even though the salon is um, my priority, I think it's kind of fun to get into my creative juices and, and really work and do something artistic because that's really my catharsis is being an artist. This week has been incredibly stressful, but J. Rye Affirmation is not about the stress. J. Rye Affirmation is about reaffirming to yourself that you can and you should do things. And so, yes, I can do this. I can conquer my salon. I can always find more friends. I can always do more things, write more blogs. Um, produce more blog videos, write more hot mess columns, write a book. I've always wanted to write my book. And I feel like the time away from friends and people that don't want to come back in my life is creating that void for a yes opportunity. A yes opportunity happens when you have a void. So yes, I shall start writing a film. And yes, I shall start working on my book. And yes, I'm doing it while I'm opening my salon. Say yes to something this week. If you say yes, things happen. Promise.